<laughs> you know, on, on second thought, it's me a shame to torch this whole shipment. Someone went through a lot of trouble to get this product into this warehouse. Secure the shipment. I'm gonna take this wise guy downtown. I'm all yours, but I promise you're not gonna like it. You wanna take me in? I'm not stopping you. Gee, thanks. You wanna look bad? I won't get in the way. So which part of shutting down a major drug shipment is gonna make me look bad? Uh, you beat me up for playing pool with your sister, and now you're dragging me downtown when I didn't even do anything. Yeah, well, we found you in a warehouse with a shipment full of drugs. <laughs> I'm a longshoreman. I'm supposed to be in warehouses. It's gonna look like harassment, police brutality, and uh, we both know it's just because your sister's so... You work for Sonny Corinthos. I'm not gonna argue with you, sir. Even though I've heard that Mr. Corinthos strongly opposes any drug traffic in his territory, I'm just an honest, hard-working longshoreman. Thought something suspicious was going on, so I came to check it out. Yeah, and what'd you see? That crate of drugs. Did you open it? It was already open, sir. And why didn't you call the police? I heard you're all in the take. Let's go. Guys, secure the premises. Don't let anybody else get in here. Mr. Grasshopper is very dear once you get past the babble, and he will obviously devote his life to Maxie. And he's much richer than you think. Can you plead me out on insanity when I throw him under a bus? <laughs> Listen, we just got this guy in the warehouse with a shipment full of drugs. Oh, look! There's someone you can prosecute who might actually be guilty. So go ahead, prosecute. Earn a promotion. And you can buy some real shoes, because there ought to be a law against the things you have on your feet. Yes? It's John's a car. And? So want me to call you should any of our guys get picked up. I'm listening. All right, this is new guy, Dominic Pirelli. He's on his way in. He, uh, well, we hijacked his car drug shipment. I didn't hear that. Uh, we were going to destroy it, and then the cops showed up. Muscular, barroom eyes, kind of hair you want to run your fingers through? What? You look like a very bad boy. Yeah, he should be with Detective Spencer. <laughs> he is. Consider it taken care of. It's all just a big mistake, sir. Detective you Spencer's stop already showing us to. And you release my client at once. Your client? Dominic Pirelli. Huh. And you would be who? The best friend you've got. How did you get involved in this? I heard he worked for Krentos. Oh, well then by all means arrest him, because he must be guilty of something. Interrogation one. What do you got? Mm -hmm. We found him in warehouse 17, loaded with the street drugs. Last thing he said, he was going to torch them. Please. You thought Diane was tough and you wanted to keep Jason Morgan in lockup? That was nothing. You need to tell me everything that happened. Hypotheticals only. How long have you worked for Sonny? A couple of weeks. In what capacity? Again, only hypothetically. I'm a longshoreman. I appreciate your caution. Mr. Corelli. After all, you are a new employee, and we don't want to drag Mr. Corinthos through this. But I can't defend you until I understand your level of involvement. I'm a longshoreman. Look, I know the drugs weren't Sonny's, okay? So is that why he ordered the raid, to send some sort of message, hypothetically? <laughs> I'm a longshoreman. <laughs> the idea is to stonewall the police. Not me. Well, I saw suspicious activities. What kind? Suspicious. I can't help you if you won't cooperate. Oh, well, I want to I help in any way I can. Excellent. Excellent. Now we're getting somewhere. So, why were you at the warehouse? I'm a longshoreman. Once again, Mr. Pirelli, I appreciate your caution, but I cannot help you if you won't talk to me. So, look, if you need proof that I work for Sonny Corinthos, I can happily provide that for you. Oh, oh, the, uh, the bodyguard, Max? Right. He's a lucky man. Yeah, okay, so if, if Max's position is the bodyguard, then what is your position? <laughs> I'm a longshoreman. <laughs> Right. I'll see what I can do. All right. Why'd that take so long? Better question. 
Why is my client still in handcuffs? Because as of this moment, I have seen no evidence of any wrongdoing on his part. Louise Addison, Assistant District Attorney. Oh, uh, Dominic Pirelli. Diane Miller's good, but she's not good enough to beat you being caught with a saleable amount of drugs. You give me something on Sunny Corinthos, and maybe we can make a deal. If not, drug charges can well lead to federal time, so it's up to you, Mr. Pirelli. Uh, and do you have a pen? After you give me something on Corinthos. Oh, well, then give me my lawyer, because she'll get a pen, and then she'll have you for lunch. <laughs> pen. Cool. Uh, write this down. 212-555-0199. Call them, tell them you got me, see what they say. Well, if it isn't Detective Dante Falconeri. Why don't you broadcast it? And you can pick me up off the pavement and listen to my mother cursing your name. Your lieutenant is requesting that we let you go as a courtesy. Oh, well, did he also mention that I'm the best chance you're ever going to have to bring down Sonny Corinthos? 